So, as you can see, I have a few tracks in my head, but I want to also show you that this unit can stretch. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. So I have two bobby pins and I have my net. So what I wanna do is make sure that my hair is completely flat. So I had already blown my hair out and uh, did like light curls earlier today, but I'm just twirling my hair into a low bun. Okay, a low bun. Um, it is recommended to braid your hair down. So if you wanted to do a few cornrows, you know, some people can braid going this way in the front so it can lay flat. Some people like to do straight backs. I'm not much of a braider just because I don't have the patience nor the time. So I am just sticking two bobby pins. I don't know if it's bobby or barbie pins. I think it's bobby pins. <laughs> I'm sticking two bobby pins then it's really important to use um, one of these wig caps because it's going to protect your hair underneath and also create a smoother foundation when you put your unit on. So, I'm also uh, not equipped to be one of those people that put the lace and then do the spray and then cut around. I'll end up cutting my hair. So I just know I am not built for that. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are pros, but I normally like to leave a little bit of my hairline visible. Okay, I have a lot of grays growing, but hey, I'm aging gracefully. <laughs> okay, so it's good to sleek your hair here. Some people, they might wanna leave more hair out to show baby hairs. Um, but as you can see, like my baby hairs literally touch my eyebrows. So I don't think I need to put <laughs> any baby hairs out. So then you have the unit. I've already um, cut the lace in the front. So it came with like longer lace, but I left a little bit still visible because um, sometimes leaving that helps. So what you wanna do is take this like a headband, right? So the unit is actually facing me like this and I'm taking the strap. I have it at the, the last uh, notch. I didn't make it tighter because I already have a lot of hair on my head and I think my head is kind of big. So I'm just putting it on like a little helmet and then I'm taking this and I'm going to pull it down. So mind you, I did not put the wig grip on, because I want to show you guys what it looks like without the wig grip, okay? So, give me some time to adjust. So here is where the comb is. And then let me adjust the other comb. Now, I, I put the comb underneath the elastic and gripped it into my hair. I'm gonna do the other side. Now, the great thing about Indique is that you can heat style the hair, but they do not recommend that you do it all the time with the um, steamed manipulated textures because you can also loosen the curl. So you have to be very, very careful with that. So these are the curls out of the, I was gonna say box, but it came in this beautiful satin thing. So you can see the laces here. And you see my real hair is underneath, so I could pull it down a little bit. I'm one of those people that don't really have much of a forehead, so I always need to adjust. But if I wanna pick the hair out some, to just give it some body. Again, I didn't use a spray bottle. I didn't wet this down yet. If I did all of those things, this hair would really be popping. But I wanna show you what you're gonna get right out of the satin bag. Now, a good hack is that you can use a rat tail comb to pull some of your edges out of your hairline, but I'm just gonna use my fingers for now because I did not bring down my comb. So look, I just put my hair in front of the lace right there and you can't even tell you can't even tell and i didn't flat iron the top at all which is great so again it's like a glueless it is a glueless wig 
I'm just putting some of my hairline out there. And then you can also um, cut it to frame your face. I would recommend if you are not a stylist or not great at cutting your own layers to definitely take this unit to your stylist. Like just because you're wearing a unit does not mean you need to say bye bye to your hairstylist. This would be really great for them to customize it, add some color, add some layers. And I always say you can build your arsenal of different hair units so you can have this, um, your coil curl one. I know they're gonna be having some other textures, so I'm not gonna really reveal what those are. But as you guys see what I'm doing, I'm just um, opening up the curls some so that I can create more texture. And you see, as I'm doing that, it's starting to look like it's growing out of my scalp. Do you see this? Do you see this? And I am moving my head. It is Beyonce approved. Where is my diva fan? Oh, I love, this is giving like Erica Dotson realness. If you don't know who Erica Dotson is, she is the godmother of premium hair extensions, okay? Love. So now I'm gonna try it on with the wig grip so we can see what the front is gonna give. <laughs> 